Okay, hi there. In this video, we'll look at the concept of a universal basic income. Uh, what is it? Uh, which countries and regions are trialling it at present? And we'll also think about some of the main advantages of this policy idea and also some of the potential drawbacks. This is highly topical. Uh, could a universal basic income be an innovative approach in the face of technology driven unemployment. So first of all, uh, what is a universal basic income? Well, at its core, uh, universal basic income is essentially when every adult receives a no strings attached amount of money from the government. So it's paid to each individual uh, to cover their basic cost of living. With a basic UBI, the set amount is paid to everyone regardless of their financial circumstances, regardless of their income or their wealth. Some good examples to use in an exam uh, are countries such as Kenya and India and Finland that have all been experimenting with a, a form of universal basic income. And in parts of the United States, this idea is gaining traction as well. In Stockton, California, uh, an area of above average unemployment, the local mayor there has introduced an experiment controlled trial to give 100 people $500 per month. Loads of other examples you can think about. Finland's basic income experiment lasted until December of 2018 with a modest payment of just under £500 per month to 2,000 uh, long-term unemployed. And another really good example to think about is the Alaska Permanent Fund. Of course, Alaska is, uh, is the recipient, the beneficiary of lots of of oil revenues and they've established a permanent fund which pays all adults and children a dividend every year uh, 2018 which was just over £1,200 effectively a basic income from the Alaskan government. Let me take you through five advantages of a basic income and then I'll take you through some disadvantages as part of the evaluation. So what are the main arguments in favour of a universal basic income? The first really is that a UBI would be a, a pretty direct way of reducing the risk of or the exposure to absolute poverty. And the argument is that it would give people more freedom and security. Um, we live in a world of precarious employment, people oftentimes with low pay, uncertain hours, lots of job insecurity. So in a basic form, it would guarantee a basic income and therefore people perhaps will be less exposed to high interest debt or perhaps less need to use a food bank. The second argument is that UBI is progressive in ways that it tries to tackle high levels of relative poverty, for example, measured by the Gini coefficient. It would also help to reduce the stigma, the social stigma attached to many means tested welfare benefits. Universal basic income will be a simple, universal basic income will be a simple system uh, that will allow the government to cut welfare spending and therefore that would lower the cost and the complexity of operating tax and welfare systems. Uh, the fourth point is that UBI is a way of getting some cash and money straight into the hands of working people, many of whom are still poor and also reducing poverty, especially in an age where the future of work does seem increasingly insecure, particularly the march of the robots and artificial intelligence. And other supporters of a, of a basic income argue that it would create uh, be a, a stimulus to innovation. Uh, if people uh, have a basic income with money on the table, if you like, that might encourage them to take more risks, perhaps to be more entrepreneurial. So it could stimulate the supply side of the economy and improve dynamic efficiency. Well, what are the, the risks? What are the drawbacks? What, about, what are some of the possible downsides to a UBI? It's important to be able to evaluate this policy. Uh, here are six uh, issues. One is affordability. So how would this system be afforded? Obviously, the higher the level of your basic income, the more it would cost. Somebody has to pay for it. Uh, would people, for example, be prepared to give up their basic income tax allowance in favour of a basic income? Or would the government increase the top rates of tax or high rates of tax to help fund it? 
big question about whether a basic income actually diminishes work ex work incentives or enhances work incentives. If you know you're going to get a basic income per week, per month, what does that do to work incentives? You can you can argue that both ways. There are doubts too about the effectiveness uh, of such a policy. The Finnish experiment is quite interesting. They stopped it after just under two years. They haven't given it any extra funding. In part, they found that people were better off in terms of their well-being and happiness, but there was little noticeable, discernible impact on the rate of employment and unemployment. Would it truly be a UBI? I mean, would the government go down the road of a universal basic income for all adults, let's say, or would there be some conditions attached, for example, being active in the labour market? There's also an opportunity cost issue. If you invest extra five, ten billion dollars and pounds in cash transfers, well, that's money that the government can't invest elsewhere, unless the government chose to increase borrowing and debt. And also, I think the wider debate is the question of alternatives. UBI is one alternative amongst many which people are considering in terms of trying to address the issue of working poverty and, uh, and, and inequality. Are cash transfers the best policy? Or should the government instead be increasing funding for basic public services, state education, health care, better funded childcare, easier access and affordable transport, for example? Many, many alternatives you can consider. Now, this is unlikely you're going to get this as a specific exam question, but it's a terrific policy consideration to think about if you're given a question on equality, productivity, welfare, supply side economics, fiscal policy and the distribution of income. Students who are aware of a universal basic income or UBI will be really well placed to show their wider knowledge to the examiner. So thanks for joining in this video.